Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. I thought today we would uh, we would make a box because I saw these on Amazon and I thought, well, how cool is that? And they got pretty good reviews. The only negative seemed to be uh, how flim or how easy to break the um, support box is. It's made with very thin slats of balsam wood or balsa wood, sorry, and um, easily breaks. I guess when you're trying to get everything apart after the resin is hardened. So I'll be careful of that. Uh, so we have a box and we have the lid. This takes 11 ounces of liquid. I did that with the water test. This takes four ounces. So I'm gonna mix up 15. I'm gonna use the clear cast 7050. It will give me plenty of working time, has very few bubble issues. I'll let it sit for a few minutes before we pour. Now put it in here and I am going to do some Petri dish coloring. I am going to use some of my new Woody's Goodies alcohol inks. We have some greens here. This is Mojito, a Grasshopper, and Drunken Elf. And we have more bluey colors here. Bluey. This is, now on the website it says it's Rum Blue Island, and here on the label it's Rum Ice Island. So if you look for Rum Island if you want to find this color on their site. Uh, this one is kinky, and this one is curacao, 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 I don't know. Um, and I used this recently in the rainbow swirl cup I did uh, a few videos back. I'll link to that below, and I thought those would be pretty, so we'll use all six of those colors. I have my Let's Resin Deeper White, so this is very similar to the Pinata Blanco Blanco. And I'm also going to use a very little bit of Pinata Rich Gold. And then I'll do uh, similar things over here with these six colors and the white. And then we'll come back when it's set up and we will demold and see what it looks like. This is kind of cool. I'm going to gear up and open the windows and put on the fans and all that. So just sit back and enjoy the show.
and we're back. Okay, as you can see, I already very easily pulled this apart. I was gonna try and lift the whole box assembly up and the slats just pulled right out. So I will put these aside for next time. Unbroken, good to reuse. We had a little interesting situation here. The gold, which was centered when we left it, ever so slightly shifted to the right. I suppose that's indicative of the slightest slant, although I'd swear my level shows this table is level, but that happened anyway. And then we have some, uh, I don't know what this is called, hazing, something. There's some term for that. It doesn't bother me in the least. I could leave it in here and dome it. However, <laughs> I want to see how our box turned out. So let's, let's just demold this. It's a test anyway. We'll see how it turned out. Doesn't look like my um, alcohol inks went very far. At all. <laughs> you can see they didn't. Well, here's some. That one moved. <laughs> okay, well, this was interesting. Definitely a test box. Very thick. I think um, the next time I do this, I will pour 10 ounces for this part of the box, for the box. And uh, then once that's hardened, I will dome the back, leave it in, leave it in the mold and dome the back. I don't think the, the bottom needs to be quite as thick as it was. It's a very substantial box. I mean, that is, that is a serious box we have here, but it's very pretty even though I didn't get much uh, movement from my alcohol inks at all. Even with all that white I plopped down there, it didn't go very far. I guess letting it sit for 20 minutes, and of course it didn't get rid of all my bubbles either. <laughs> okay, so this wasn't the best box I've ever made, let's face it. But it's one of just a few, and it's mine. And I, this, this view looks nice. Looks like a... I don't know, a seaside overhead map sort of thing. Okay, let's take our top out. Very pretty, I think. Now, I've seen it shown this way, and I've also, let's see if this, yeah, okay, so it fits like that. It actually fits on and locks, well, sits in place. It won't come apart. This sits down into the open box cavity. So that's how it's supposed to be. So there's that, and then there's that. And then actually, this is very pretty. I did get a much better Petri dish effect here. Let's see if I can get it to focus maybe. Okay. So there's our box. What well, was fun. I think next time I'm going to A, um, pour the resin sooner. I won't let it sit for 20 minutes. I was doing a couple um, tumblers over in that direction after I mixed this resin up. So I figured I would just let it sit while I did my two tumblers, which took 15, 20 minutes. I was just putting a layer of resin on two tumblers. I wasn't doing anything that involves swirling or alcohol ink or anything over there. So I figured that was a perfect amount of time for this to sit and debubble. But it really didn't. And it's very hard once it's in here to pop the bubbles. I guess I could have tried running um, a skewer or something, a soft tipped something around the edges, but I didn't because I thought the alcohol inks would drop down farther and maybe take care of stuff. So all the way around, it did not turn out like what I wanted. <laughs> I say that all the time, but I think it's beautiful. It will be my ocean box. I think that's gorgeous. What do you think, folks? I have another mold. We'll try that. And I have another jar mold. I noticed a lot of folks lately have been watching my jar with the screw top lid that you make both parts out of resin. And, and I'm gonna try that next. Look for that in the upcoming videos. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.